All right, we're here in Hawaii. We just made it to the trailhead of the Kauahu or Kauahu Crater Trail. And uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty rugged. Starting out, it's just a bunch of these roots and drops and rocks and all kinds of crap. Oh, we found a banana tree. <laughs> <laughs> Bananas grow. Here, it's neat. It's neat. Anyway, we're going to get started on this trail. I think it's like seven miles or so. And uh, we're going to take you with us. Let's see how it goes. Let me start off by saying, if you're going to hike this trail, wear boots <laughs> and be prepared for mud because so far it's been slick like ice. But all it is is just mud where all these roots and stuff stay soaking wet down in this bottom. It's cool though. It's like something from Jurassic Park. All right, let me give you an update. So we're probably a little over two miles in. It's been pouring down rain for probably the last mile and a half of it. So I've had my camera stuck in this bag trying to keep it dry. And uh, the trail has pretty much turned to soup. And uh, from our knees down, we're pretty muddy. But so far it's an awesome trail. When you're up here hiking this thing, you're going to be walking along like this little chintzy looking water line. And uh, I guess that's a good way to tell if you're still on the trail, but it's still raining a little bit. I'm going to put the camera back up before it gets too wet. So we're going to keep pressing on. We'll catch you here in a little bit. Car handle real nice, but we'll dry stuff in there real good. <laughs> So we just got to our second waterfall here and uh, trail continually getting a little worse and a little worse. The rain's still coming down so probably not going to get to see a whole lot of the trail because it's so muddy and so thick. I'm trying to keep my camera clean and dry but this uh, the last waterfall we went to it was pouring rain so I really couldn't show you it but it was a little bigger than this one but you can see this one here. Still pretty freaking sweet. Alright, so we made it to the top of the second waterfall. Sun's kind of starting to break through the clouds back there, so hopefully this rain's gonna kind of clear out. And uh we'll just continue up the trail. Maybe the trail will dry out a little bit. That's what I'm talking about right there. Get out there and explore these places. This is awesome. Check down this, man. <laughs> All right, third waterfall. My turn to climb it. Yeah, you know 
You came up. No babies were actually tossed in the making of this video. <laughs> My cornwall experience is paying off. It does keep going. Thirty minutes later, we're still climbing waterfalls. Same set of waterfalls, just keeps on going to the top. So I think we're almost there. I'm starting to see daylight at the top, so pretty awesome. Check this out, we just got to the top of the waterfalls and look at this view. It's like a big valley up here. That's crazy. It just popped up out of nowhere. Look at that. This is literally some Jurassic Park stuff here. That's exactly what it looks like, it's crazy. Straight up rainforest. I'll tell you this while I'm thinking about it. You'll see these ropes the whole way up the trail. I don't know that I'll put a whole lot of weight on some of them. They seem pretty old and I don't know that I would trust my life to them. But they have came in handy on a couple of hand holes where you didn't have anything good to grab onto, but I just wouldn't put all my weight on it. I'd use it just for what I need it for and just keep on pressing. I wouldn't grab them and lean back on them. Just keep that in mind. Still coming up this goat path. It's getting slick. See this whole kind of thing we just came through. Uh, there's a thicker rope up here. It seems like it's pretty stable. That's what we use to get up this thing, but I would definitely use the buddy method coming up through here because if you fall, you're done for unless you got somebody behind you or somebody to grab a hold of you. So just take it slow. Be careful coming up through here because it's, uh, Pretty sketchy. Holy crap, dude. 
This is awesome. Dude, we're up here above the clouds. When you get to the top up here, you'll see, you come past the power line, there'll be a spot on the ground right there. It looks like people go down that way. Don't go down that way. It runs into a dead end. That's what we, we just ran into. So we're going to continue on along this ridge spine here and see if this trail just kind of goes around and takes us where we need to go. So hopefully we don't wind up in the middle of the jungle. So we're working our way down this ridge spine here and it's slick. I would recommend bringing some trekking poles. Uh, I would definitely recommend wearing boots and pants. And it would probably be a lot easier if you had like crampons or something to put on your boots to get some traction in this mud. Cause man, I'm gonna tell you right now, it is slick. I mean, slick, slick. So just be careful when you come up here because it's, it's a pretty hazardous trail. It's definitely not an easy trail. I definitely wouldn't recommend bringing kids up here. Uh, definitely for somebody that's in for a, that's up for a challenge and up for a pretty challenging hike. So he's got mud butt down there now.
So, I think we made it down the roughest part. That was sketchy. I'm talking mud. I don't know if you can see. Look at that. Look how dirty his legs are. <laughs> He's dirty as all get out. But we're having a good time. Seeing a lot. And uh, right up there, where we hike, that highest peak right there, that's where we ended up going up to. And now we're working our way back down to this bottom here, back towards the city. So, stop and take a few pictures and uh, keep on pressing on. <laughs> oh, I got the old Bambi legs. I'm not trying to get wet. So we've made it down the mountain for the most part. And right here is where the two trails kind of cross together. So what happened is we went up the mountain and went on the right-hand side of the crater, up and around to the top, came back down the other side of the, the and dropped down on the ridge top of that crater and took that side the rest of the way down. And right in here is where the two trails cross. So you can, I guess at this point, when you're coming up, you can take either route you want to up to the top. I would definitely recommend going up the right hand side as you go, staying along the creek or the river here, this little creek, and then come back down the left hand side because coming, trying to come down those waterfalls would have been a nightmare. Um, but anyways, we're still working our way back down. I think we're at like six miles and something now, so pretty sure we're pretty getting pretty close to the trailhead here. Uh, within the next mile or so but we're muddy we're tired legs are getting tired but it was an awesome hike so we're gonna keep on pressing try not to fall We made it. Oh, we made it up to the top. Finally made it out of there. Uh, 6.85 is what it's saying on my watch. Uh, but we started that about, a, I don't know, 1.1, 1.2 miles or so after we started. So that's what, eight, right around eight miles. So great hike. Uh, words of wisdom, there's no bugs, a lot of mud, some pretty sketchy spots, wear boots, wear pants. So the opposite of what I'm wearing. <laughs> Expect mud, uh, bring a lot of water because you'll sweat your butt off. There are plenty of streams if you bring a filter, you can filter some water out and uh, and do go that way if you need some, but I feel like this was our last time we'd ever be out here. Definitely thought I was gonna die. I mean, Sakani, best running shoes ever. Don't hike in them. All right, guys, girls, if you like the video, uh, like and subscribe below. We appreciate you watching. Uh, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well as the our YouTube channel and uh, we're gonna get an Uber get something to eat head on back thanks for watching <laughs>